Today I'm going to be showing you how you can take an image, slice it apart to make it larger than what your printer would normally be able to do and print, and then be able to piece it back together to sublimate into one very large image. So why would you do this? Um, the reason I'm doing this in particular is because I have a Sawgrass SG400 and I do not have the larger tray that allows me to print larger size pieces of paper. So I am restricted to only printing an eight and a half by 11 inch with my Sawgrass SG400 at the moment. I want my image on my doormat to be larger than that. So to do that, I'm gonna take my image into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to slice the image in half. And then once it is printed, on each paper, I'm gonna piece that paper back together and sublimate it. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it. But the first thing you need to do is decide what image you want and pull it into Cricut Design Space. Once you have done that, you wanna jump over and measure your doormat. So this here is my doormat. My doormat I got from Home Depot. It is a Traffic Master 18 inch by 30 inch doormat that is able to be sublimated because it is uh, polyester. So. That is why I'm choosing this one. Now I'm going to sublimate between here and here, not the entire area, but I do want it to be a rather large image within it. So that um, I will measure to whatever size I want. And based on those measurements, then I will jump into design space and size my image accordingly. Okay. So once you're in Cricut design space, after you've measured your mat, what you want to do is then go ahead and put it to the size that you want it to print off and be overall when you're sublimating it. So I want mine to be about 12 inches wide or tall. And so to make that proportionate, that is going to be about 11 inches wide, which is totally fine with me. So what I want to do now at this point is I want to break the image in half because as you can see right here, this little image says, sorry, Cricut can't do print and cut in the size that you want. You need to shrink your image down um, and, and within this parameter of size. I don't want that. So to be able to kind of work around this and this, the restrictions of my Sawgrass SG400, I'm going to go ahead and click over here and click on a shape. Now I'm going to click on this lock button here, which is going to allow me to manipulate my uh, square and I'm going to turn it into a rectangle. I'm going to take it to the top of my pumpkin, down the middle and over and I'm just gonna line it up to where it's about the halfway mark. Now, from here, I'm gonna take and click on the square that I just created, and I'm gonna hold the shift key down, and I'm going to click on this decorated pumpkin as well. Now, both of these are selected. From that point, you can come down here and you can click this button, which is slice. We're gonna go ahead and click slice, and then we're gonna move this off, we're gonna move this off and we have this. So these two parts we no longer need, we can delete them. So now we have two halves, which is great, but it's still not gonna be able to print with Cricut Print and Cut, because you see we still have this error message here. So what I'm gonna do is one more time, I'm going to take a shape, so I'm gonna use a square again. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to cover one side completely. So make sure I see there's a little piece up there that it covers it. And then I'm going to, again, hold down the shift key, select the black square as well as the highlighted or colorful design. And then that way both are selected and I'm going to come over here and click slice. Once you do that, you can do the exact same steps. See, we have this moved apart now. So we're gonna go ahead and click off these. We no longer need those. And now we have this separated from this whole half. So now I'm basically creating a quarter of the design. I'm gonna do the exact same thing here because see this still has the error message that it is too big to cut. These little ones do not, they will cut. So I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps. and now we have separated this image. Now, if you come over here, you will have no error message. It will be able to print off each individual image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it print it off and then we are going to piece it back together. Once you have everything printed off, um, 
I just went ahead and I trimmed closely to the edge. So when you use print and cut, you will have a little bit of a white border and then a black border as well. You wanna trim that off and you wanna basically just get as close to your image as you can. Then what you wanna do is you wanna line them up just like you would be doing a puzzle and you wanna connect them together. So I'm gonna line them up like so. Okay. And when you have everything where you want it, what you are going to do is you are going to then tape it. So I'm gonna tape the back side of these images and I'm gonna overlap them slightly because I do want them to show as a cohesive image. Heat resistant tape and apply it down here like so. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing down here. Okay, so I chose a split image which is a little bit trickier in my opinion than if I had chosen one that was not split. So I wanna make sure that my pumpkin is lined up even when it's split. So what I'm gonna to do to do that um, is I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to line them up like so. And then I'm going to grab both of them and flip them over together as one unit. And the reason that I do this is so that now I can just simply go, whoop, slide you down, slide this one up, knowing that they are in line, or they should be. And then I can center this one in between. And that is how I do it. Once I do this, I'm going to go ahead and tape it completely down. All right, once everything is assembled and put together, you're gonna go ahead and lay it on here. And then you're gonna put get your block paper on here so that you do not have the ink pressing through. And we're gonna go ahead and press it down. Push the press in and press it down for one minute. We're gonna go ahead and take that off carefully. Peel off your flat. Not peel, peel off your images. Okay, and here we have our finished doormat. Um, it's looks beautiful and it's great for fall. So if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.